Oh, hi guys, it's uh, Tony from Designs Digital. Just wanted to make a real quick video um, of how you can host a free webinar. Webinar, webinar. Oh, hi guys, it's me, Tony Designs. I uh, just wanted to make a real quick video to show you how you could host a webinar on your WordPress website in 2020. So uh, let's jump straight into it. Right, okay, so first things first okay so obviously there's some really great paid services out there uh, zoom and all those kind of guys uh but you know if your budget is a little bit tight and you sort of uh, use wordpress anyway um uh, it's perfectly feasible you can do this without incurring a, a monthly fee um just by using uh one plugin and youtube live okay so um the plugin we are going to be looking at is the wordpress webinar plugin and there is a free version and there is a paid version. And if you look at the sort of feature set of the pre free version, it's got everything we need really. Um, email reminders, live webinars. What else do we need? Uh, recorded webinars, recurring webinars. Yeah, this is all good. So it, obviously if you need uh, these other features, then you do well to pay for a license, but it's $197 a year. So I think you could probably do quite a lot with a free version. Certainly what I've been looking at, uh, more than happy with. So first things first is to install the plugin so go to your wordpress website go to the dashboard and go to plugins add new enter webinar press into the search box there we go it's this one with a purple icon here click on install now activate your plugin and we're up and running so first thing then you now see you've got a new um, menu item down the left hand menu here and if you uh, come part way down the page you will see this little icon here, webinar press. So the first thing, go to the settings. As I said, there is a pro version, um, which looks great. Lots of options are uh, obviously grayed out for the pro version. Fair enough. Um, what we've got here, mailing list, that's all pro, webhooks, pro, emails. Okay, so this is uh, to allow you to uh, edit from name, the uh, email address and the admin email. Change the color scheme, that kind of stuff. That's quite handy. Uh, permi permissions okay so what user roles will have permissions to um, to, to, to set up webinars etc so that may be useful uh, the email templates so you can edit the templates that are automatically sent sent out great stuff new registration confirmation um, one day before one hour before obviously you can schedule your web webinar so all great stuff all really useful stuff okay so that's the setting so once you've got it set up as you like and to be fair you know just from install um, it, it'll work you know so we can jump over to new web webinar to add a new webinar okay so the first thing we want to do is we want to give it a title so the title of our webinar so we shall call this one the uh, tony designs webinar great stuff uh, who will host that well strangely enough that'll be me um, okay, so you can see here the webinar type. In the free version of the plugin, you've only got the option of a, a, a live webinar. Um, you can't use one time, recurring, just in time or right now. Um, you can schedule the start time, which is great. Um, although you can also automatically start it as well, just by clicking start once we've got it set up. But let's set it for uh, two o'clock, which is in approximately a quarter of an hour. You can obviously change the, uh, the time zone and you can set an estimated duration. And here, this is an interesting part. So you've got your, your uh, source. So you've got a YouTube pre-recorded video, YouTube live. Um, you can upload. You can upload uh, Vimeo and you can upload your own file to it, which is good. Um, Hangouts on air discontinued. Well, that's what we always used previously. But YouTube live, let's use YouTube live. So you selected that as your source, okay. Uh, we've set everything up we need to so save and publish and you will see there's now two new buttons so first is the registration page so if we click on that as you would expect this will take us to the registration page which is uh, it tells us the title of the, um, the webinar a countdown until we, when the webinar goes live and uh, a form for your registrants for your people you'd like to attend to register their details their name and their email address um, and it can select a, a different webinar if you've got multiple webinars queued up to ready to be played so that's great we need that you can obviously just take this link here copy this link 
and send it to everybody that you want to register, promote it on social media with your posts, uh, put it in your blog posts, wherever you need to put it. You can spread this URL far and wide. So if we return to uh, the WordPress dashboard um, and we visit the other link, the webinar room, we will see that our webinar room has actually been created for us. Uh, it's asking us to choose the video source. That's because we've selected the pre-recorded video. So what we're going to need to do, we're going to need to go to uh, to YouTube. So I'm going to assume that you've already got a YouTube account set up. If you haven't got one set up, you're going to need to get one set up. Okay. Uh, so this icon on the top right here um, is the create video icon. Um, so you can click that and you can click on go live and that's going to take us to the dialog box to set up um, our live video ready for streaming to our webinar how exciting okay uh, so to start streaming allow access to your camera and microphone so obviously we want to allow that we need that give it a title so i don't know what you're going to call it um you know, whatever you like um you set it to public okay so you can set it to public or you can set it to unlisted um, or private if you set it to private it's not going to work if you set it to public then after the live stream is finished it will actually go um, it'll just be available for anybody in the general public to uh, view or you can set it to unlisted and only people with the link will be able to view uh, for this demonstration we'll just leave it as public you can schedule for later on if you like um, there's this stock question is this video made for kids it's not made for kids i'm sure they find it very boring uh, and no it don't restrict my video to viewers over 18 only um yeah is there a under more options you can add a description obviously useful if you're going to uh, let, let your video be indexed by youtube and you can select your category we will put this under the category of how to in style um advanced settings allowed chat that's good um yeah great stuff so next smile time for your thumbnail great okay so we've set up the stream preview if we click on the share button it will open up this dialog box and we will see a link we need this link so copy it return to the webinar room place the url into the box click on continue little piece of magic no. yeah click on go live okay we're gonna go live let's go live let's see what happens we're gonna go live um Obviously, we set the webinar to start in a few hours' time, and we, that's fine. You can wait for that to count down, and you can sync that with this. But if we actually start the webinar now, we should see our live feed we from YouTube. We should see our live feed from YouTube. Here we are. Here we are. A little bit unnerving uh, because it's on a bit of a delay. A little bit unnerving uh, because it's on a bit of a delay. But you can see it's all working fine. This is this is what we came for. This is what you can see it's all working fine. This is this is what we came for. This is okay. Stop broadcast. That's the okay, broadcast. That's... We've stopped the broadcast. Okay, right. You've got a few options here on the right hand side. Um, obviously, the one in the middle with the one on it that's showing you how many attendees are in the room. Uh, on the left hand side, are any questions? If somebody clicks on the ask a question box and asks a question. Um, it is going to appear in that dialog box and you can answer it. Um, yeah. There you go. Please enter to submit your answer as well. Oh, there you go. Fine. Okay, I've answered it. I've asked myself a question and I've answered it. And if we click on the gear icon, um, we can update the webinar source. So that's quite interesting. Just as a little test, we can actually uh, go to a pre recorded video. So let's try that. Let's find a video. Um, let's just find a random video rather than one of me talking. Uh, here you go. Chill Hop Radio. This is something that we probably listen to quite a bit. Actually, one thing that's apparent is once you've ended the webinar, you cannot restart the webinar. So, uh, yeah, possibly you'd need the. the, the the paid pro version for that 
Uh, but yeah, no, it's all fine. It's all good. It all works. And um, that, that, that's it, really. That's a wrap. I've showed you how you can, um, how you can set up a webinar uh, using YouTube for live feed. Um, awesome. Awesome. Let's just go and uh, set up another one very quickly. And let's set up one using a, a, a pre-recorded video. So uh, webinar, ti webinar title, we put in pre 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 Recorded webinar. Make sure I spell that right. Pre recorded, maybe maybe something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, again, I'll be hosting it live. Okay, so it says it's uh, the webinar types live, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have to use live video. But we're going to use pre recorded video. So let's paste, um, let's go and get a URL from YouTube. So this is a little chill hop for radio i like to listen to when we're making websites and doing digital marketing just pop that in there save and publish go to our webinar room and if we start the webinar it should go to our video please will you Perfect. Perfect. So that that's that really. Um, yeah. Okay. So a couple more things just to show you very quickly. Once uh, the dust has settled, you've run your webinar. It's been a roaring success. Uh, you can then go and have a little look um, at these couple of links here. So attendees. You can click on attendees, and it will list each of your webinars. And by clicking on one, you can see who's attended your webinar. Uh, so there you go. So many designs. I've attended my own webinar. Amazing. Um, obviously gives you the email address and uh, that's about it really. And then you can also see any questions that have been asked. So if you click on questions, um, there's a drop down box of all the different webinars so that you can filter. But obviously we've only had one question. Um, and there you can see the question there. So yeah, that's quite handy. That's quite cool. I think um, really good software. Really great that you can do this for free. Uh, the pro version looks awesome. I might have a little go on the pro version. We'll see. Don't really need it at the moment. But um, yeah, thanks for what, tuning in, guys. Peace out or something like that.